Hey everybody, um, welcome to the Mark Parham Podcast. You can follow me online by just typing in Mark Parham Podcast on Spotify and then on Rumble you can type in Mark Parham and I should pop up. And then also you can find me on YouTube. Um, you know, I was looking at ESPN and I was looking at the back and forth between Ryan Garcia and um, Devin Haney. And, you know, I'm a person, I watch boxing and I've been watching boxing for a long time and when I think about it, when I think about that whole matchup, Ryan Garcia does not stand a chance against Devin Haney. And here's why I say that. When I look at Devin Haney, I see somebody that, again, has a high ring IQ. Like, he's somebody that knows how to adjust. He's faced tough opponents. I mean, his, his, his opponents that he's faced recently have been tough. And he's somebody where you keep seeing him get better and better and better, you know, every year. I mean, a lot of times, and even I remember in the past, I saw Devin Haney and the whole thing, people always used to say, well, Devin has no power, and Devin can't do this, and Devin can't do that. And I used to think, well, I used to see Devin Haney, and I'd be like, this guy is, is overrated, and, you know, he's just a hype job. Like, people keep talking about him, and I don't see, you know, I don't see any... uh you know, skill, high, high level of skill with this guy. And every year, it's just like he keeps on getting better and better and better. And so at first, I was not a fan of Devin Haney. And I was saying, well, you know, this guy is, is thinks he's better than what he is, but he's proven himself. Devin Haney has proven himself and he's putting in the time, he's putting in the effort and he's a, he's a he's huge uh, rising star in boxing. And if he keeps on boxing like this and keeps on beating tough opponents, he's going to be one of the greats in the future. And again, I'm not trying to compare him to Floyd Mayweather, but I almost look at him like this. Floyd was a type of person where he had a high IQ. He could adjust. He could, you know, set up different ways to make you react to certain things in the ring. And Devin Haney can do that. Like, Devin Haney has all of the skills right now. I mean, some people have been saying he doesn't have a lot of power. Okay, Floyd Mayweather, you know, some people have said that about Floyd, where they're more technical fighters. But if you look at Devin, Devin's got, you know, he knows how to defend himself in the ring. He's got a little bit of speed to him. He keeps himself in shape. He's somebody who's even trained with Floyd Mayweather in the past. He's a student of boxing. And uh, you look at Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia is somebody where he's running around with, you know, that mindset, I have something to prove. You know, he's worried about being a social media star, to me, over being a boxer. Like, again, you see him on all the social media sites and TikTok and all these things. But, you know, do you want to be a TikTok star or a social media star? Or do you want to be a boxer? And I think Devin Haney is <coughs> really focused on being one of the best. And uh, you see the hunger in Devin Haney's eyes. And again, I don't think Ryan Garcia stands a chance. And I know that um, Ryan Garcia thinks he's, again, when you're fighting somebody, you always think you're going to win. But as far as a person with a high ring IQ, Devin Haney is up there. And I think if Ryan Garcia comes in there and tries to be aggressive and throw hooks and, you know, come in there and be a bully, he's going to be knocked out very quickly. And uh, the problem with Ryan Garcia is that he's not a, he just, he doesn't have that ring IQ. Like, even if you look at the situation when he fought uh, Tank, I mean, again, Floyd Mayweather or Devin Haney, they're able to adjust. And Ryan doesn't have that. I mean, you take away a few of his uh, things that he's good at in He's done. And, 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 and even I think Devin Haney mentioned that on ESPN. Like he knows how to do a few things well and that's it. And so it's going to be an interesting matchup. And I think this is going to be an easy fight for Devin Haney. Uh, I think it's going to, uh, it's a fight that Ryan Garcia wants because he's trying to prove something. But if you come in that ring and you don't know how to adjust with a fighter like a Devin, it's like a Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, you can come in with all the power and use all the bullying tactics and fight real aggressive, but, you know, once it gets to the fourth round, once those rounds start, you know, fourth, fifth round, then, you know, they're making adjustments in their head. And so 
that's the only thing with Ryan is I think one of his weaknesses is, is that he does not adjust. Like he thinks he's going to come out there and use that the same things he's good at all the time. And so, you know, you've got to be a fighter where, you know, what happens when, you know, you're dealing with an accurate puncher who, you know, he has a good jab or he has a good left hook. Like you've got to know how to adjust to those things. That's what makes a good fighter. Like you can't just come out there and, you know, use the, be like a Mike Tyson because, you know, you think, well, I'm stronger than this guy. Like, you know, Devin Haney is, 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 he's a thinker. He's a thinker in there. And, um, like I said, it's going to be an interesting fight. I think it's going to be a cakewalk for Devin Haney. I know Devin Haney wants to be one of the greatest, greats. Um, I think he's somebody who even said he looks up to Floyd Mayweather, even though his father and stuff and Floyd have a back and forth. But Devin is really hungry, and I think that he's going to be a huge star in boxing for years to come. And I think uh, with Ryan Garcia, Ryan Garcia is, you know, uh, I, he's, he's somebody who he wants to prove a lot, but he's got to focus on boxing and switching up his game plan more if he's going to be a, a star in boxing. Like, I mean, he's a star, but I'm talking about somebody who's going to, you know, take the game to the next level. And so that's just my opinion. I think this is going to be an easy match for, uh, an easy match for Devin Haney. I think this, 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 Devin Haney might actually get the knockout on this one because I don't see how Ryan Garcia is, I don't see how he can win. I mean, he doesn't have the, the skills to beat somebody like a Devin Haney that, like I said, is just uh, pretty good all around. So again, uh, let me know how you think in the comment section. And like I said, again, follow me online. Just type in Mark Parham Podcast on Rumble. I mean, Mark Parham on Rumble and then Mark Parham Podcast on Spotify. Thank you.